Coffee Break Chinese Season 1, Episode 34. Nimin Hao, Washer Mark. Huanying Lai Dao, Coffee Break Chinese. Daja Hao, Washer Crystal. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. In this season, we are following my progress as I visit China. And this has, this is my first trip to China. Mm -hmm. And I am really enjoying discovering the, the country. I've been in Beijing and also in Shanghai. And so I've got a little flavor of what China involves. In this episode, I'm at breakfast, so you can join me at breakfast as I have a conversation. Uh, Hong Yu has joined me in the hotel for breakfast, and we actually get talking to someone sitting at the next table. Crystal, ni hao ma? Wo heng hao ni na? Wo ye heng hao. Jin tiang wo bu... Wo lei. Lei. I couldn't remember my tone there. Lei. Lei. Oh, late. So, mm -hmm. fourth tone, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not tired today, for once. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to get on with the lesson. <laughs> As usual, we'll begin by listening to the entire conversation, and then we'll split it up and go through everything in detail so that you've understood all the vocabulary and all the structures. And if there's anything interesting in particular, then we'll spend a little more time on that, giving you some further examples. As I said, this is a conversation which happened in the restaurant in the hotel at breakfast. So let's have a listen. 听听吧早上好早上好 你用刀叉吗? 这是我的儿子，他叫时尚。叔叔你好，很高兴认识你。我也是，你多大了？我四岁了。你的中文很好。他爸爸跟他说中文。你在哪儿上学？我在温哥华上学。九点半了，爸爸在等我们。再见。很高兴认识你们。这是你的咖啡。谢谢。这是你的柠檬茶。谢谢。嗯，很好喝。Okay, so an interesting conversation to be had at the breakfast table where not only are we hearing a younger speaker of Chinese, mm -hmm. we're hearing a non-native Chinese speaker, someone like myself, a Canadian lady that we got talking to at breakfast. Let's listen to the beginning of the conversation where the waitress in the restaurant invites us in. 早上好。早上好。请问几个人? 这边请我们有自助餐,有包子,饺子,炒饭,面条,我们也有面包,芝士,水果。太好了。Now Crystal, there's a lot of vocabulary in there. <laughs> I recognize a couple of things, but some new, new things for me, definitely. So first of all, uh, the lady asked uh, how many people, she said. 几个人? So something we've heard many times before when we were talking about restaurants and, and, and so on. So, 几个人, how many people? And I asked, I, I answered, uh, 两个人, two people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then she invited us to follow her. Yeah. Uh, 这, 这边请, this way, please. This way, please. Yeah. And then she explained what was on offer in the buffet. That sounds a lot. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear, uh, if, can you explain what yeah. the, the different things are? So she said, 我们为... You have 自助餐, English is buffet, but 自 means self, 助 is help, like 帮助, 我可以帮助你吗? 餐 is meal, self-helping meal. Right, so let, let's just go through this again. The, the word in, in complete is 自助餐, 对, 
and that means a buffet, mm-hmm. a, a self-service area where you can That's choose right. the kind of food that you want. Uh-huh. Um, but you said that zi is zi self, self, mm-hmm. and then zhu is help, mm-hmm. and then zan is the meal, the meal part. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so a help yourself meal, mm-hmm. a buffet. And then she rhymed some of the things, uh, rhymed off some of the things that yeah. we had. She said, you have baozi. They're dumplings. No, jiaozi oh. is dumplings. Oh, so what are uh, baozi? Baozi is almost like a sting bun with some stuff inside. Of course, of course it yeah. is, yeah. Do we have a name for them in English? We don't have that in English mm. equivalent, no. So just a, a steamed bun stuffed with something. Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Let's be, just call them baozi. <laughs> yeah, it could be meat, could be veggie. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then she also mentioned jiaozi, which are the dumplings. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. She also mentioned about chao fan. So that is a fried rice. Yes. Okay. 对, 对. We learned ji rou chao fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, it just, it, it seems a little bit strange at a breakfast. Ah, <laughs> That's a Chinese breakfast. Chinese breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, mian tiao. Now they are noodles. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she also said, we also have some other things. Yeah. So, 我们也有, so, 也 is the also part. Mm-hmm. 面包, you know 面包. Mm, 面包, uh, 是, right, okay. You just learned 包子. So, it's the same 包. It's okay, a, bun. a bun. And then 面条. 条 is a string made yeah. of wheat. A well, wheat bun, yes. that like a, a bread, bread roll. A bread, <laughs> bread. Or bread roll, okay. yes, yes. Okay, so mian bao, bread. Mm-hmm. And she said you have zhi shi. I have no idea what it's that is. It's translation from cheese. Cheese, mm-hmm. okay, so cheese. Zhi shi, mm-hmm. okay, cheese. And mm-hmm. uh, then the last one. You have shui guo. So shui, is that it's water? water, yeah. yeah. Guo is fruits, okay. so juicy fruits, basically juicy fruits. just fruits. Okay, so they offer a Chinese breakfast with uh, steamed buns, dumplings, uh, noodles and, mm-hmm. and fried rice, mm-hmm. but also a Western breakfast, mm. if you like, with, with bread and uh, cheese and fruit. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to this section again, and then we'll move on to the next part where the, the lady asks us another question. Mm-hmm. 太好了。你们想喝些什么？请给我一杯咖啡，谢谢。你呢，红油？我想要一杯柠檬茶。好的，您用刀叉吗？筷子可以。Okay, so what was the question that the the waitress asked us? Uh-huh.你们想喝些什么？So you want drink the xie shen Xie <laughs> means some. Some. Okay, mm-hmm. so do you want something to drink? Mm. Okay, so let's hear the question again. 你们想喝些什么? Could she have said, 你们想喝什么? Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that, that works too. Mm-hmm. And well, I asked uh, I asked for uh, 一杯 cafe, mm. a coffee, and then I asked Hong Yu what he wanted. Mm-hmm. And what did Hong Yu ask for? 他要一杯柠檬茶. So that's some kind of cha, mm-hmm. and we need to remember what ning meng, and I think that is lemon tea. Right. Okay, so he asked for his lemon tea, mm-hmm. I was having my coffee, and then the waitress asked something else. Ning yong dao cha ma? Right, so dao cha uh, is a knife and fork. Right. So she was asking me, do you want a knife and fork? Do you use knife and fork? So yong is use. Mm-hmm. Um, what else could she have asked me? She could ask, Ning yao dao cha ma? Do you like, do you need knife and fork? Okay, so either way, she's asking me if I if I want a, a knife and fork. But I answer very confidently, uh, quite the mm-hmm. <laughs> So I can use chopsticks, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So there you go. I may live to regret that when my food comes, but for the moment, I'll I'll stick with the kwaitze, the, the chopsticks. Okay, in the next section, we get talking to a lady sitting at the next table and her son. But we're going to listen to that after our break. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. 
In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Okay, so you are joining us as we're having breakfast in the hotel. And as I explained just before the break, we're going to be talking to the lady sitting next to us and her son. And this is giving you a chance to listen to a different accent and also a different age of, mm-hmm. of speaker. So let's have a listen to the first part of this section. Okay, there's already quite a lot in there. Uh, first of all, the lady started by complimenting me on my Chinese. <laughs> um, perhaps she didn't realise that I didn't understand much of what the lady was saying with all that vocabulary. Um, Crystal, can you give us once more what the, the lady said? Yeah. You so your Chinese is very good. And I said my usual, nali, nali, don't, yeah. don't flatter me or whatever. Um, and then she mentioned something about the baozi. Uh-huh. So jia de baozi, is that like saying here or, or the baozi of here mm-hmm. are very delicious. Mm-hmm. So the, the baozi here are lovely. Um, and then what she did she suggested. Say? So what's chang chang? Chang is taste. So you, so you taste. double the taste. Taste a taste. Have a taste. Right. So is this kind of like what you say when ting we're going ting. to listen to something? Yes. So you say uh, woman ting ting. Ba. Yes. Yes. When you use the verb twice, mm-hmm. which to, which is used to describe an action quite brief, uh-huh. you know, a short action. And it also hints some suggestion. Okay. okay, because she thought the bouts in the restaurant is very nice, mm-hmm. so she suggests you to have a taste. Right. So, can you give us some other examples using this this format, this sort of this construction? Definitely. For example, can is to see, can can, to have a look. Right. So rather than to see something, just to have a quick look at yeah. something, can can. Yeah. Okay. And you can see, um, wen 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 is to ask. Yeah. Right. Wen wen. Quickly ask something. Mm-hmm. For example, ask for direction. Okay. Yeah? For example, 想想. Let me have a wee think. Let mm-hmm. me have a think. So how, how would you actually say that? Let me have a think. Can you just say 想想? 我想想. All right, 我想想. Yeah, instead of 我想. Right, so 我想, I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. But 我想想, I'm having a wee think. Yeah. Okay, I like this we think. This is yeah, a, little, a Scottishism there. Very much. <laughs> I'll just have a wee think about that. Uh-huh. Now. Okay, so what else might you might you do? E, you could add a e not number one mm-hmm. between the two verb. Okay. For example, uh, 尝一尝 instead of 尝尝. So this is the tasting, yeah? Mm-hmm. Have a taste, basically. Taste a taste. Yeah, 尝一尝. Mm-hmm. Um, so... If if you're saying have a wee think, have a little think about this. 想一想. 想一想, mm-hmm. And there, can I just double check that your tones, because you had previously said 想想, mm-hmm. that's a third tone and a third tone, but the first third tone becomes the second tone. Okay. But if you put in the yi, then you keep the third you keep tone. tone. So mm-hmm. 想一想, okay. good. Oh, I'm getting okay. this. I'm getting well it. Well done. So coming back to the uh, ting ting, uh, you say ting ting ba. Mm-hmm. And the ba is the let's do this. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. Um, so it's I, like I'm double having, suggestion. I, yeah. I, if you just say ting ting, it's a suggestion, mm-hmm. hint of suggestion. Ting ting ba. Ba is also a suggestion. It's like I really want you to have a listen to this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if I just wanted to say, I'll have a listen, I mm-hmm. could say, wa ting ting yeah. or wa ting yi ting. Good. Okay. So the lady at the next table said to us, ni min ke yi chang chang. So you can have a, a little taste of the, the buns. Yeah. She's not talking about hers. No. She's talking, <laughs> she's talking about the ones that are over in the buffet. Yeah. Do, do, do. <laughs> you must try these. <laughs> okay. I ask her a question. I say, where are you from? Uh-huh. 您从哪儿来? Uh-huh. And then she goes on to say, 
我从加拿大来，我是加拿大人，但是我先生是西安人。Okay, so I am from Canada. I'm Canadian, but my husband is from Xi'an. Uh, and then she says something else. 我们来北京旅游。so that's that's not something I know. So what's this? Lu Yu is travel. Travel. So we're traveling to Beijing. Mm-hmm. Like we're visiting Beijing. We're visiting Beijing. Yeah, like okay, because they're Beijing. already there. Mm-hmm. We're sitting at the breakfast table. Okay, let's listen again to that small section where she talks about where she's from, and then we'll continue on listening because then she introduces her son. Nin Tsong Narlai. Wasong Janadalai. Was Janadaran. 但是我先生是西安人我们来北京旅游妈妈给你面条这是我的儿子他叫时尚叔叔你好很高兴认识你我也是你多大了我四岁了你的中文很好他爸爸跟他说中文 我四岁了, 你的中文很好, Okay, now Crystal, I have to tell you that when this little boy addressed me as Shu Shu, I, my heart melted. I, I thought it was it was lovely. You had told me that mm-hmm. this might happen, and that that for example, I was if I was speaking to your father, I should call him Shu Shu, mm-hmm. uh, but I didn't expect it to happen to me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, he is introduced uh, after he uh, interrupts his mum to mm-hmm. give him to give her the the noodles. Mm-hmm. He says, "Mama, give me noodles." So literally, give you. Noodles, mm-hmm. um, and then the lady introduces her son, who is called Shu Shang. She says, This is my son, he's called Shu Shang. Mm-hmm. And uh, then that's when the little boy says, uh, Nice to meet you, uncle. Uh-huh. <laughs> he says, Okay, and then I ask him a question, a question that we've dealt with quite recently in our episodes. Mm. I say, what age are you? 你多大了? And the little boy answers, 我四岁了. So he's just four years old. And I should explain that previously I had heard him speaking to his mum in English. Mm. So my next sentence makes a little more sense now. I, I say that your Chinese is very good. Mm-hmm. 你的中文很好? Talking to the little boy, of course. And uh, the, the mum explains why, uh, what the reason is that his Chinese is so good. 他爸爸跟他说中文. Right, so I understand 他爸爸, mm-hmm. your father, or sorry, his father, mm-hmm. um, 跟他说中文, is that speaks Chinese to him or with him? Mm-hmm. Right. So 跟 is with. With, mm-hmm. right, okay. So uh, the little boy's dad speaks Chinese to him and the mum normally speaks in, in English. But of course, mm-hmm. since we were all speaking Chinese, that's why she spoke in Chinese to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, Hong Yu has a question for the, the little boy. Let's listen. Okay, so Hong Yu asks here. 你在哪上学? So you at where school? Uh, so where do you go to school? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's quite tricky to pick up if you don't know this particular town. But let's have a listen to what the little boy says. 你在哪上学? 我在温哥华上学. So Crystal, where where does he go to school? Vancouver. Vancouver in Canada. Uh-huh. Okay, so we know that they're Canadian and uh, he goes to school in, in Vancouver. And how do you say that in, in Chinese? 温哥华. Uh, to me, it sounded like he said Vengehua. Yeah, that's the accent of Northern Chinese. Okay, so the W sound becomes more like, like, like a V sound. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, Northern Chinese accent comes in there. For example, when they say Wei. When you're answering the phone. Yeah, we say Wei, Ni Hao. They would say V, Ni Hao. Oh, all right. Something mm-hmm. new. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this little boy goes to school in Vengehua, mm. or Vengehua, depending on how he wants to say it. Um, and then the, the mother says something else. Let's have a listen. Okay, Crystal, is she talking about the time here? Mm. It's half past nine. Mm-hmm. Remember, he, she said, 九点半了. What's the significance of the, the le? Yeah, we've learned a lot in the past. It's yeah. about an action has completed. Yep. 
But in this case, the la is put in the end of a sentence. Basically, it's to indicate a change of situation or the time has already passed. Or this is the time already. There's a hint we should get going. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's gone half nine. Yeah. And she she says, uh, "Baba zai deng woman." Baba is daddy. Yeah. Zai is is doing something. Yeah. Is waiting for us. Deng is wait. Right. So daddy's waiting for us. We need to get going. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I say goodbye, and uh, uh, it was nice to to meet you. Mm-hmm. And we finish off the conversation with the waitress bringing us our drinks. 九点半了，爸爸在等我们。再见，很高兴认识你们。这是你的咖啡，谢谢。这是你的柠檬茶，谢谢。嗯，很好喝。Okay, so Hong Yu is enjoying his lemon tea. Um, let's have a listen to the whole conversation one more time, and hopefully this time you'll understand everything now that we've gone through the language in more detail. 好，听听吧。早上好早上好请问几个人两个人这边请我们有自助餐有包子饺子炒饭面条我们也有面包芝士水果太好了你们想喝些什么请给我一杯咖啡谢谢你呢红油我想要一杯柠檬茶好的您用刀叉吗